Okay. It is time for us to start our new segment. This is called the first time reader chat, and we're going to have a spoil free conversation with a first time reader. This title is a little deceiving because it is a first time reader chat, but this is not the first time we met this individual that's joining us. He was with us last week, uh, and he is with us here here again. Uh, he is a musician. He is in a band called It Looks Like a Black Hole, all one word, all lowercase letters, and they have an album called Ghosts in Your Blood. They're on Instagram and Spotify and SoundCloud and Apple Music and Bandcamp and all that. He's a great great artist he is a longtime friend of ryan and mine and he is a first-time reader ladies and gentlemen in your homes quietly applaud for todd oh uh, we he's reading again we always interrupt his reading oh uh, i love your commitment my man <laughs> so great how are you todd well boys i'll have to tell you i'm a little on edge Oh, oh, yeah. You know, I'm a little concerned about the two rivers. Oh. And all oh, the two rivers tell. folk. And, I mean, we got war in Geldan. We got a black rider in the, lurking in the woods. We have, um, I don't know, I <laughs> Sedai just coming to town, you know. And I'm really concerned about Beltine. Is it going to, like... You know, I hate to see an art festival ruined. <laughs> are you, are, are you, are you, so you are, you are, uh, do you, uh, you're devoted to the art festivals? Do you travel the world and go to art festivals? I, I love art festivals, food and wine festivals, music festivals. So I'm very concerned about, you know, just for the people of, of the two rivers. And what they Ryan, can get on. If there's a festival, Todd's going, my man. <laughs> I, I mean, I've been reading about it these four chapters, and it's like I want to be there. It's, yeah, it's but, a for, yeah. but for some reason, you're not you're not buying that this is going to be the best bell time ever, are you? Oh well, no. I, I'm just concerned that it's not going to happen. Oh, just okay. really, uh, oh, just like the whole thing might edge. not happen. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, there's so much planning that's going into it. Like you said, there's all this money put into it to get a gleam uh, in, to get the peddler. Uh huh. You know, the mayor, the mayor is like, he seems stressed. He's like, okay. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, I mean, I'm he's sure the two rivers uh, makes, you know, it's, it's a big income for the two rivers at that time of year. So. Right, they know. are re they are responding to things that that, that the peddler just brought this news, and they're responding. Um, it is kind of stressful news. You're right, so I I can imagine uh, why the mayor is is a little, you know, not feeling great. Right, and I imagine these people feel buffeted around. Like for the day starts with the peddler bringing doom and gloom, and then the gleeman comes in, starts flipping around, and starts saying telling these like esoteric. Uh, stories that exactly. I thought were just it would have been completely new, but then Egwin says, "Hey, hey, say this one," and he goes, "Oh, you know, that's an old one, but I'll tell you." So yeah, um, I just think, but each time the 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 crowd just seems just right there. Uh, when it's bad, they're they're upset. <laughs> when it's right. good, they're like, "Whoa!" So they seem pretty. Uh, they're they're guess, eager. Yeah, oh, eager. eager! Yeah, yeah, eager! Yeah, yeah. They have nothing. Well, and this is like the Coachella of of Edmonds Field. They got everything. <laughs> I imagine the Gleeman is over in like the uh, the electro tent, and then over on like <laughs> the sonic stage over there is when they're doing the sheep shearing contest, and and they right. got yeah. There, there's just stuff going on all over. You got to choose which thing you're going to do because there's just too much in one day. This is our second episode with us. How has your life changed since episode yeah, one? I think. Of, what's tell me about it. Are you able to leave your home? You know, um, I'm being cautious, you know, uh -huh. I, I, I walk around I, uh, and I drive my car with sunglasses on all the time. Okay. Just, okay. Okay. I wear a bandana actually. That's Ooh, my preferred method of uh, protection. Uh -huh. 
Are there skulls on it? That is so cool. Are there skulls on it? There are not actually. It was uh, issued by the company I work for. It's Blue Bottle Coffee. Oh, shameless oh, nice. Plug. Shameless plug. Nice. That's the best coffee. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's super that's good. No, no. Beautiful. 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 That's a great. That's a great blend. And, uh, we'll, uh, we'll put that link in the description below. Yeah. So that's what I wear nice. and it's to hide from the paparazzi. So okay, so when you're when you're dressed in your when your sunglasses and your bandana and you're, and you're driving to work, what character have we met so far that you resemble the most? Well, let's see. Um, Good question, huh? Good, great, question. awesome question. Thank you, thank you. Thank um, you. you know, <laughs> I would have to go. I'm still like, I feel Rand. You know, I, I said That's that in okay. the last episode. You're feeling Rand. I'm, yeah, I love it. You know, I know he's the main. It seems like the main character and the narrator of it but I'm still like really drawn to him and uh, I'm really into uh, Eggwin. She's very interesting. Mm-hmm. I think that I pronounced that name right. Yeah. I, I think, think you so. did. Yeah. 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 I'm very intrigued by her and her relationship with Rand. And uh-huh. um, of course her relationship with uh, Nenaive, you know, she's like a up and coming. She wants to be a wisdom, I guess. She's like a, tutored wisdom or mm-hmm. I don't know. like an apprentice yeah it, apprentice yeah. What, yeah that's what i meant <laughs> an <Yeah>. intern <laughs> she's an intern hey I, Edwin, intern. can you go get me some coffee and can you get get the office <laughs> <of> sandwiches <laughs> thanks give me some old wine please <laughs> and then i'll write a letter for you but you know net eve is also very interesting uh-huh what have, you, what have you observed about her? You know, I love how she just lays it down to the council, the village council, and what she says to the mayor. And and he even brings uh-huh. it up at one point, you know, when they're all gathered. And she's like, oh, it's not even half, you know, what I said. It's even more, like, <laughs> right about, about right. their at least, idiocy. Yeah. And like, she's just relentless. Love her. Yeah, she was cutting her half wit by half. So she was saying they had maybe a quarter wit between yeah. them all. But, you know, back to the Gleeman. Yes. I mean, the character, the Gleeman, <laughs> were introduced to him. And I love <laughs> I love his intro. Yeah. He oh, yeah. Into. He's like running away from the village council meeting. Um, and he comes out the door. And there's a cool, you know, quote, the white haired man, world, cloak flaring. <laughs> nice. So I yeah. love it. You know, Robert Jordan, he writes so cinematically. I think. Yes, indeed. And oh, good so point. Many, yeah. So many moments like that in the book. I think it's it's awesome. In the Amazon show, we'll oh, have a field yeah. day. We'll have a field day with, with his writing style, I think. Because he just basically lays out, you know, yeah, you picture he's, being, it. he's like he, he's created the storybook or the storyboard already, visually yeah. for him. Mm-hmm. That's a great enjoying. point. That's a totally great point. That's awesome. Excellent. Yeah, no. yeah, it's very descriptive. At first, I was kind of you know like, oh wow. So he really goes into detail. When I started the book, I was like, oh, this is where we're going. And but now I'm like fully on board. Mm-hmm. I was a little like skeptical of it and like, oh, he really draws things out, but like for a reason. So he draws for things reason. out for a reason. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, you really can picture uh, Emmons Field. You can kind of picture just the excitement of what's going on with Beltine and, and man, and I'm sorry, Rand's emotional, um, his just excitement, and but tied together with this scariness that he had earlier in the morning. It's, it's kind of cool. You're that cinematic is a great way to put it. Totally. And also, um, you know, I've always gone back to comparing this to, you know, uh, like Lord of the Rings mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in the sense, I think the gleam in Tom Marilyn's character is kind of a homage, you know, um, to Gandalf from uh, Lord of the Rings. I think because I, uh, I'm assuming Robert Jordan uh-huh. was heavily into Lord of the Rings and was influenced by it, but I think it's like an homage kind of. Nice. And also, I think 
it might be um, an homage or a tip of the hat to the King Arthur tales of the Knights of the Round Table, because his name is um, Marilyn. Uh-huh. And in those books, I don't know if you know about the wizard Merlin. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, that's amazing. That's amazing. So, uh, <laughs> I, and that's also so cool. in, in one of Marilyn's, uh, one of Marilyn's, I think Robert Jordan made a direct line to it, but uh, there is a, a tale that he speaks of, and it's called Archer the High King. Oh, so out of so, out of all the Gleeman's kind of tales, there is that the one that kind of that kind of tickled your 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 interest. That's one of them. When I, when I heard that, I was just like, "Oh my gosh, he's talking about he's talking about King Arthur!" Like, nice. Or it's just like kind of a, a nod to him, you know? Like, oh, we'll see. Maybe, that's a okay, maybe uh, he's on, creating like a multiverse. Robert Jordan's like bringing the King Arthur tale into Wheel of Time. I don't know. Who knows? These are yeah, awesome. Yeah, no, that's a really great point, man. <laughs> I can neither well con- confirm nor deny the existence of what you're saying, but go yeah. on. Very interesting. Go on. <laughs> Ryan's like a psychologist. He goes, uh, okay, interesting. Now, mm-hmm. how does that make mm-hmm. you feel? <laughs> it makes me feel great. Oh, great. Okay. You're, so cool. you're healed. Out of my office. <laughs> but going back to his t- stories he's talking about, I'm really interested in all those stories. Uh, you're asking me which one stood out. Yeah. Um, if definitely any. The, the age before the age of legends. Oh, okay. That one seems uh-huh. pretty awesome that there's an age before the age of legends. That kind of really intrigued me. And then about and then like an age about which hasn't happened yet or something he was talking about. Ages that were and will be. That totally blown away by that. Like, and it makes me think about the wheel of time concept and just what I can, a little hint, I guess. Uh-huh. Yeah, it says now what he just brought up change how you think of the wheel and that whole. Definitely. Yeah. It, it makes me think about, you know, the time pattern theory or what they talk about the pattern and how there's different patterns and they change and they <laughs> So uh-huh. I'm now I'm thinking like multiple like timelines happening or like I don't know, and that could just blow it up. I mean, I love that how there could be uh, I don't know just multiple patterns of about this chapter. Um, it really exercises the third person kind of the oral history, you know. People talking about history and people learning from other people about history. I really love that. Um, and it brings me back to the comparison with, you know, George R. R. Martin and Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Kind of that. And and then it made me study. I did a little study. Oh, oh, oh. I, was like, I was like, wait a minute. You know, what came first? Wait, I haven't studied anything. Yeah, What's happening? What, Dude, Am I, I, I mean, I didn't. I did in college a little <laughs> you bit. Study, Dan? I'm so <laughs> excited. Tell me. Let's go. Go on. Sorry. You should try no, no, study. I don't. No, I don't study. No, no I, just, I imagine no. my I get my I just, chops up. Study, I just study, study, know. study. Either, either I know no. it or it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so true. It works for it's me. So man. true. <laughs> 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 <You should study. laughs> Don't let, please go on yes. yeah I, what, so, so what'd you study so i was curious i was like you know what came first uh, um game of thrones or wheel of time you know so wheel of time was written in 1990 the eye of the world and game of thrones came out in 1996 the first book and i was like oh my god wheel of time's the you know the og like it is og yeah it is the fantasy og of that and that was really cool. Oh, sorry, please. So uh, yeah. they had uh, George R. R. Martin, either him or his publicist or or publishing company or whatever, asked uh, Robert Jordan if he could write a little blurb for the book. Um, oh, he awesome. read it and he wrote a book. And, and apparently George R. R. Martin uh, attributed a lot of his early book sales to the fact that Robert Jordan kind of 
put a stamp of approval on it. Later on, in Beautiful. fact, in the uh, Song of Ice and Fire, there is a Maester Jordan who um, I believe believes that uh, life is a wheel and kind of the reincarnation what? kind of thing. So, yeah, that's, that reminds me a lot of like our community here in the Wheel of Time, Ryan. Uh, our community yeah. is super great and super supportive. Right, this. Yeah, we're going to get this more interactive as possible. Um, but yeah, yeah, real quickly. Yeah, we'll go on. Yeah. yeah, I have met one on the chat. Zool. You want to say? Yes, yes, yes. Our <laughs> friend Zool. Oh, yes, cool. our, yeah, our wonderful friend Zool. Great, great, helpful friend on Discord. She actually wanted to put forward to you a request. She would like you to yes. tell us what is your favorite um, scene uh, and what is your favorite quote and hopefully we could do this uh, every every uh, every episode but yeah totally. so, so that's a request from Zul Zul aka Nakomi when she asks we respond what do you got buddy well I'll have to say my favorite scene is when we are introduced to Thong Marilyn and how uh-huh. he just comes out you know like uh, the white haired man world and cloak flaring that's uh-huh. an awesome just image. <laughs> yeah, re- you can't and, uh, recreate that, Dan. Yeah, give us. Dude! <laughs> and then he like faces, you know, the crowd. He sees everybody gathered already. And he's like, oh, like just, it's a great introduction, I think. And awesome. and a little while later, my favorite quote comes from from Tom, from the Gleeman, and he's talking to one of the boys. I think it's. Um, Matt or Perrin talking about war and you know just war in general Uh and he says in wars boy fools kill other fools for foolish causes that's enough for anyone to know I'm here for my art and I was like yes like I love that quote man that's great great (laughs) that just like like I love it very cool, 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 man. Very cool. That's been a. That's gonna wrap up episode two with Todd. I'm very Todd. excited. And, and real quick, will you tell us what band, what song we have been listening to? And everyone knows this is your band, but what song is it? Oh, this is uh, "Recycling Our Way Back to the Middle." Oh uh, yeah, it's one, of my, one of my favorites to play live. Excellent, Super excellent. Song. So we're gonna we're gonna be listening to this as we as we say goodbye. Um, I want to remind everybody that you could reach out to our email at the way of the leaf cast at gmail.com. And you can reach out to us on Twitter, leaf underscore cast. And you could re- come join us on Discord. And that's another great way to interact with us. If you yes. want to get questions to Todd, kind of project ahead we're gonna winter night is the next uh episode after that we're gonna start doubling up and we're gonna start doing at least two chapters at a time our intention is to keep abreast with the amazon television show as best as possible todd is committed to doing this with us and we don't want to have anything spoiled by the show so we're gonna start speeding it up a little bit but it's still gonna be fun so if you have questions think ahead plan ahead for episodes ahead give us questions and we will present them to todd right right i i really do like that dynamic i I would really love to have people say hey hey when you get to talk to this this awesome guy here can Uh, can you ask him this and and yeah we would love to and we will even probably give you credit that would be awesome (laughs) Yeah, Super and awesome. we yeah, I mean we're we're certainly talking enough. <laughs> so uh we want to hear from you. All right, this has been a great first time reader chat. We're gonna say goodbye to Todd. All right. We're gonna after this, we're gonna move into the ad reads. After ad reads, it's tavern talk. Yeah, keep Everyone. reading. You feel the animal? Come on, right, go, come on. go. I'm, I'm it looks like here. a black hole. Find them online. They're awesome. This is great. All right. Thank you, Todd. We love you. Hey, you know what I know? You know what I know? Six feet. Six feet. Six feet. Oh, you know what? I, oh, what, you know what? what? I, I'm, I, you know the way we're up here, like uh, on top of here, like Todd. I feel like the two old guys in the Muppets in the theater sometimes ah. when we're like Todd's talking yeah. and we're like, hey, hey, you call that a theory? Talk? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
That's so true. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Have right. a great day. We'll do this next time. Bye, Tom. We love you. You're Back the best. To the book. Back to the book here. You're the best. Bye. Mwah.